This is the Creality Ender 3 V2 Neo. I was quite impressed. It's affordable, surprisingly quiet for a 3D printer and produced some pretty high quality prints right out of the box. The slicer software, while not perfect, was serviceable and did the job for most of my prints. Overall, a great entry level machine at first, because after a month, things started to go wrong. I began getting heat warnings during prints. The machine would stop and while it resumed later, it would completely ruin the print. After a bit of research, I found out it was due to a few screws that had come loose. Tightening them temporarily fixed the issue, but this wasn't the end of my problems. Next, the hot end started to clog and gunk up. This meant I had to buy a repair kit to swap out the hot end entirely. That alone was frustrating, but it didn't end there. The worst part was when the machine started losing heat mid-print, the filament would solidify in the hot end, causing another clog, and once again, the hot end got stuck. To fix that, I would have to buy another replacement part, which would have cost me £40. But luckily, here in the UK, we have statutory rights. So instead of sinking more money into replacement parts, I decided to send it back and declare it unfit for purpose. Oh, and one last thing. When I was packing it up, I noticed that one of the bolts on the Z-axis had actually sheared off. Good thing I was sending it back. So what, pray tell Saz, did you replace this machine with? Well, I'll give you one good guess. Of course it was always going to be the Bamboo Labs, wasn't it? Currently, Bamboo Lab are having a sale on, which pretty much surprised me. Uh, because for the same price as the Creality Ender, I could get the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. Um, only problem being is, the plate's a little bit small for me. So the only thing I could do is spend another £100 and get the Bamboo Lab A1. Of course, I don't have the multiple thing. I have no use for multiple colours. So it was very much an affordable option for me. Now I could go on and on about the different features of the A1 and how brilliant it is. I mean, effectively, there was a point where I was able to uh, literally just use the app to uh, go for a gombot that uh, someone was asking my roleplay group if we could print. And I printed it and it was printed at the end of the time of our roleplay game. And that sort of ability to know that all you have to do is press a button and you know that the printer is going to get it done, that is absolutely perfect. I don't want to spend my time messing with screws and stuff to, to get something to work. I just want to press a button and it works and therefore I get results like this. Now one of the main features of the Bamboo Labs A1 is the fact it has a hot swappable hot end. There's a mouthful if I heard one. Uh, so the machine comes with a 0.44 millimeter hot end, uh, but you can swap it out for different sizes. Uh, I have also bought a 0.2 millimeter hot end, uh, which only cost me about 10 pounds to, uh, to, to do. So I was gonna do some comparisons. Uh, and so I thought I'd take the opportunity now, seeing as I'm here, to show you those comparisons and see if you can work out which ones are which. And the final damning proof of Bamboo Lab being leagues above their competition is this simple fact that the 0.4 and the 0.2 have different times of printing because of the uh, amount of time it needs to take. Here's the thing, it took the 0.2 exactly the same time it took the Creality Ender to do a 0.4 print. That has to say something, doesn't it? Anyway, if you have a comment, pop it down at the bottom of here and also press the like and subscribe button. And I hope to see you soon, guys. You take care. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.